down. I said, no, you can do whatever you want. You're not going to hit anybody over the head with that thing, are you? Okay. Al, I'm going to give you the floor. Appreciate it. I think that, did you all mute this mic already? <laughs> Uh, I can't believe that uh, Kurt actually fucking did like a game. I like that. Well, um, everything that Kurt said is true about my condition. Uh, uh, so uh, there is very little time left, but uh, I can't help from saying that uh, I still believe in my heart that I am the most blessed man on this planet because of the love that God has shown me through the love of all of you in this congregation and uh, all the love and prayers that have been sent up to heaven for me on my account. And I've, I've made it this far beyond all doctors' understandings and all that kind of stuff as well. And, uh, um, I just want to thank you all. It's because of you all that I, I'm doing as well as I'm doing because I'm a God boy man. That's right. <laughs> See, I started this all wrong because I'm not supposed to. The way I start my life and my day, each and every day, and every time before I do anything, this is what I try to do. Every time. Dear Heavenly Father, Almighty oh God. Holy Jesus and the Holy Spirit, please be with me now and give me the words you want me to say, not my own, but yours. Because I live for you. You are, I am yours and you are mine. So, let me start that. I start my day that way. And I wish I would have started this conversation with y'all that way. Um, so from here on in, this is the holy word from God for you that He wants me to say to you. It's a uh, it was a long time ago. I came into this this church. And I asked God for help, and uh, He's I I gave Him my word that I would do. Uh, I would be on church on Sunday, and I would learn His way if He granted me that one request that He did. And uh, I've been. Throughout my years going here, I've, uh, I've, I've learned one thing. I've learned a lot of things, but I mean, one of the main things I've learned is if you truly desire to know what God wants for you in your life, you seek it each and every day, no matter what comes in front of you. Good things, you praise Him for the good things, you praise Him for the bad things, because the bad things will show you when the good things are back again. And um, I've learned that. Uh, throughout my years, you have a family that you're born with. You always have that family. But when you commit yourself to a body of believers, and you plug yourself in, in every place that you can, as much time as you can give, you, you begin to grow. And those, and, uh, and the more you do it, the faster you grow. And the, the more you're plugged in with, in different programs, small groups, you know, Sunday school classes, um, you know, Wednesday night classes, just, just anything that the church offers. The more you plug yourself in, the closer to those people that are involved in that, that you will become. And then, and throughout time, you you not only have a born family, but you have not just church members, you have a church family now. I have a church family that is this is congregation bigger, bigger than anything I can imagine. People who just love me. Just for me. I hope anyway. <laughs> and uh, we love them. <laughs> so all you who are uh, uh, just beginning in your faith, all you who are you know, just searching and wondering, you know, just plug yourself in. 
learn about God as much as you can. Learn what He has planned for your life. Because He's, he's planned something wonderful for mine that I never knew was going to happen. And I've had a wonderful, wonderful life. It's only because of God. Only because of Christ and, and, and what He's done for me in, in this time. And uh, the more you do it, the faster you grow. The more family you become. You have you, you and what is it they say, you know, the, the treasures in heaven? Right. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. I can't take I don't have a new hall behind my you know, <laughs> I can't take none of that but I can bring all this love and all this compassion, this all this that you have given me and shown me. I can take that to heaven. <laughs> Discourage you and lie to you. He lied to you. <laughs> Outright. You don't belong here. You're not good enough for this. You, you, you're a loser. You're with this, you're that. Whatever he might say to you, whatever it's called, he will say all those things to you. Don't, don't believe him. <laughs> don't believe him. God's got a better plan. God, you go to heaven. And I know it. <laughs> Amen. It's beyond any, like the Bible says. Goes beyond any um, peace, the transition it goes beyond any peace that I can. I don't understand it. I, I have peace with all of this. I am what they call it, cool, calm. as what you call it. Well, I'm not so bad. <laughs> but you're peculiar. Whoa, you say that. We said peculiar. That's a sign you're not just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about you, like I said. Yes. Thank you. I just want to say thank you all, all, all of you, all of you. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Me and Darlene have been on one more thing. Me and Darlene have been on one wonderful year. And, and while we could, we have said this over and over again, we have, could not have planned this ourselves any better. Even if we had a um, guide that we could map it out day by day, where we would be, where we would know how we would get there. God planned it all. It was a gift from each and every one of us that know what, what we want to do. It's one gift after another. I would have never expected it, never guessed it. But I mean, truly, you know, we thank you all. You've been blessed so much. So much. She had been thinking, uh, thank you. I can't say thank you. It's not the word. It's not the word. I know this. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank everyone here. First of all, I want to thank the Lord for this day. And I want to thank Him for my husband after day. He's my gift from God. And he's an amazing man. Each and every one of you know that. He's changed my life. So many ways I can't thank him enough. together and he broke bread with them or he had shared the Passover meal 
we've uh, taken this as our communion time now when you share the, the juice, the cup, and the loaf, the bread. And uh, so as we prepare for communion, let me pray first, and then I'm going to read these verses, and we'll take our communion all together. And so, as soon as I finish praying, grab your communion off so you're holding the bread and the cup in your hands. And Craig, would you bring our communion over? Lord God, I thank you for the testimony that we've just heard from two people who are sold out on you completely. And they know the beauty of living a life that is dedicated to you. Lord, we don't know what tomorrow holds for any one of us here. But I, I thank you for the courage of those who know that days are numbered that can come and share a testimony of hope. Because these are people who are not in despair, but they are people of great hope and a hope of a future that is forever. So I ask your blessing on our time of communion as we take it by reading your word. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. In Matthew, in chapter 26, Excuse me, yeah, in chapter 26, in the beginning, in verse 26. Jesus has gathered them and he wants to bring them comfort in some way, knowing that this is his last meal with them. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat. This is my body. Let's do so right now. Verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins and Jesus added this and this is why I chose these verses because you don't get this picture everywhere else but I say unto you I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. He knew it might be the last, it would be for them the last time that they would drink it with him. I look forward to the day when we all drink it together anew in the kingdom of God. And I share in the cup. moment, we'll, uh, some will come along with offering trays, is that what you have? And they'll collect, you can put your cups on the table and right? it's just a matter of issue. I'm going to let Al and Darlene go back over. We didn't rehearse it, but we prepared. Did you, have you got this song? Yeah. You will try? Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what it is, but uh, we know it's maybe your favorite or one of them. If during this closing song we're about to have, you're moved to come over and say hello to them, give them a hug around the neck, you're welcome to do so. I have a feeling that they're going to stick around for a little bit after church as well. Uh, when this song is over, we'll dismiss. We'll talk about our congregational meeting. We'll transition to that. But uh, let me pray for the offering and then we'll continue. Lord God, thank you for what we just heard and experienced. I thank you for family. I thank you that we can be transparent. Lord, we weren't praying for this day to come, but what a glorious day that you have allowed all glory to go to you through the words of Al and Darlene and what's happening in their lives. Lord, we just love you so much. I ask your blessing now on this offering, and I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Al. Now this song is uh, it's called I Am Not Alone. Love the words, I am not alone. 
you will go before me. You will never do Praise God.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Amen.